Hey guys, Blazonrath here, and in this video, I'm going to go over a couple of leaked weapons roaming around for uh, Halo Infinite. I figured I would talk about it since I am uh, pretty, I guess, a big advocate for Halo's weapon sandbox, and, you know, we're talking about a DMR, a classic gun, and as well as a bandit rifle, and I thought I'd like to discuss or give my two cents on this situation. Alright, so let's talk about the DMR that's apparently getting leaked and might be coming into Halo Infinite uh, in Season 3. So... There's three different perspectives I can look at this. You can, I can view this from a casual perspective, a competitive player's perspective, and a sort of game designer perspective, I guess you could say. So the DMR, uh, apparently its uh, designation, designation name is the M392, which apparently references the Halo Reach DMR model in particular. However, in game, as some, I guess, modders got into the game, uh, now I normally, like, I don't want to show leaks, but I don't really consider this a leak necessarily since considering this, this is actually in the game right now, I guess, and modders just happen to find this. So here's the image of it. As you can see, it's a, uh, the, D the DMR is like the Halo 5 model, but they're calling it the M392. So I don't know what's going on there, but my prediction would be, uh, let's say they are bringing back the DMR. It could, they could just bring back the Halo 5. Uh, as far as aesthetic wise, it's probably going to be the Halo 5 model with the Reach DMR scope and ammo counter slapped on top. Very similar thing that they did with the Sniper. Uh, 343 just took their model and slapped on a CE styled scope to replace their new scope. So that's what I think what it could look aesthetically, even though despite the M392 name. So now, from a casual's perspective, let's talk about perspectives. So, casual's perspective. Uh, this is, I think, a no-brainer, a, a good thing for them because it's just a new gun for casuals to play around with. For a competitive player's perspective, this is, I guess you could say, also a good thing. I mean, it's another competitive rifle that people or competitive players can mess around with and, you know, they can, I guess, try out a new rifle. And then from sort of a, I guess, from a game design perspective, which is kind of the perspective I'm on, uh, adding a DMR is... I guess it's not bad, but it's just like not entirely smart. I think Halo Infinite has the potential to like have a unique sandbox for once. Because over the years, uh, it's particularly with Halo 3 and even Halo 2 to an extent and Halo Reach, like we've had some redundant weapons. Halo 2, we started to get Covenant, just Covenant equivalents of UNSC weapons. And Halo 3, a similar situation, we started getting just, just redundant weapons like the the plasma rifle and spiker in Halo 3 are pretty similar. Like, the there isn't the only time like the spiker, I, in my opinion, the spiker in Halo 3 is more useful to wielding, whereas the plasma rifle you, you don't want to do that. That's really the only difference. But other than that, they're kind of similar rifles. And then in Halo Reach, we got both the plasma rifle and plasma repeater. It's like the uh, the plasma rifle like just came back to Halo Reach just because it's a classic gun. And same thing this, with the the spiker in. Uh, uh, Halo Reach. The Spiker in Halo Reach was more or less filler for like the Brutes in campaign, but it never didn't really finish, uh, benefit the multiplayer uh, aspect of Halo Reach. So with Halo Infinite, when you look at each weapon, they, they all fill uh, unique roles, I guess you could say. Or some of them will fill like similar roles, but they'll accomplish their role in a different way. So the point I'm trying to make here is that both, I guess, uh, Halo CE and now Halo Infinite uh, particularly the Halo Infinite is an opportunity to implement unique weapons and not and try to reduce redundancy, which is I think is very evident with the fact that there's a bunch of you'd say classic weapons missing or replaced. Which I know some people see that as cut content. To me, that's not cut content. That's just cutting out the fat of the weapon sandbox, you can say, and just f uh, fulfilling more distinct roles uh, in the weapon sandbox. So with that tangent out of the way, the DMR, when let's say it does get added into Halo Infinite, how much different can a DMR be compared to the other precision rifles that are currently in the game, right? So we have the battle rifle, a three round burst mid-range weapon. We have a commando, which you could say is a DMR replacement, but you can also, I could see an argument for making a carbine replacement in a sense that like, it's like the carbine, has a faster rate of fire in previous games compared to the battle rifle and the commando you could say like it's just full auto and I mean it's it's just a full auto precision rifle and then you have the stock rifle which is more of the true DMR replacement it's a uh, it's single shot 
and has a three times scope, just like no. Actually, wait a minute. The stock rifle has a three times and a six times scope because it's able to zoom in twice. How different can the DMR be? If the DMR was to say implemented into the weapon sandbox, it's just it's just going to be redundant, and we're going to have another Halo 5 situation where there's a lot of rifles, but they all kind of do the same thing. They aren't that much different when you compare like Halo 5's pre-patch rifles. Like the DMR just might have a three times scope, but the stock rifle already has a three times scope. It could probably have a similar TTK to the battle rifle, which is like 1.55 seconds. I'm sure the DM, I'm pretty sure the DMR in Halo Reach has a similar TTK like that, like 1.5 seconds or something like that. Uh, like the only minor advantages would be maybe a three times scope and a two, maybe a two shot beatdown, just like in Halo in Halo 5. But I don't even know if that's a good thing. So you see, from a game design standpoint, adding a DMR is just, like there's really no point, or it's just adding just. Uh, redundancy. If the DMR comes back as expected, whether it be like the Halo Reach No Bloom DMR, or like Halo 4 or 5, whatever, uh, I'm not gonna get mad, but it's just like, you know, it's just another gun. But, you know, that doesn't really do anything that much different. Now let's talk about the other gun that was leaked, the Bandit Rifle. Now I'm actually glad I waited a little bit before making this video, because it's been discovered, I guess, by modders or whatever, I don't know who fucking discovers this shit. But apparently the bandit rifle is not a totally new gun. It's associated with the DMR, designated the M392. So it's called the M392 bandit rifle, and there's a clip of uh, Aratus saying, you know, bandit rifle. But, and then there's another screenshot where, you know, M392 bandit rifle are seen together as one gun. So the bandit rifle and M9, M, M392 DMR are not two different guns, they're the same gun. Which leads me into a couple of theories. The first theory is that this gun, or like, yeah, this gun might be, uh, this DMR, is going to be a Banished-style weapon. It's like the Bruce from the Banish took the DMR and probably bastardized the look and, you know, made it part of their faction. Which also may lead me to believe that the DMR may not function exactly like everybody is ex uh, expecting. M392 may be the model of the DMR, but considering they're renaming it the Bandit Rifle, tells me that the, this DMR might function differently. And I may have one theory as to what this rifle could be, and what I personally think would be a great idea. So with all that being said, I'm led to believe that this M392 Bandit Rifle is actually going to be an explosive rifle. Which I personally hope this is the case, as this does add something new to the sandbox that we don't currently have. A couple examples I can give that maybe you guys could picture in your head is, think of the, uh, the answer from Halo 5, but as a single shot rifle. And not that full auto craziness. Or think of the Dying Star, uh, Dying Star Light Rifle from Halo 5. Actually, that one might be a more better example. That is a single shot rifle with explosive rounds. Now I think that is something unique, and that's something that Halo Infinite Sam Halo Infinite's weapon sandbox does not currently have. And I also have one more form of evidence that supports my theory. So if we rewind time for a bit and go back to during the end days of Halo 5, Game Cheat 13, as some of you may know is a very prominent modder, unveiled some cut content that never made it to Halo 5. And I think around 2017, I believe, uh, GameT13 unveiled some unreleased root weapons that never made it to Halo 5, which I assume is supposed to be a celebration of sorts uh, update for Halo Wars 2's launch uh, at the time. And I guess 343 never got around to finishing it, and or maybe you know maybe uh, technical reasons, but one of those cut weapons was called a banished sniper or like a brute sniper. And that Brute Sniper was using the DMR in Halo 5 as a placeholder model with a very unique scope. And the crazier part is that this Brute Sniper that was using the DMR prototype as a placeholder whatever, fires explosive rounds. Now if you wish to see the full video on some of the cut Brute weapons that never made it to Halo 5, as a matter of fact, now that I just remembered, remember the Scrap Cannon in Halo Infinite's campaign? That was also actually unveiled by Game Chief 13 uh, a long time ago uh, in that in that video where, you know, a lot of brute weapons that were supposed to be in Halo 5 that just never made it in. And 
there's a prototype scrap cannon in that video using the uh, what was it the hunter arm as the as the model and you know here we are years later in Halo Infinite and now it's an actual gun that's in the campaign which is very cool so now that I'm you know that now that I just remembered that I'm more than convinced that this DMR this M93 M392 bandit rifle is going to be an explosive rifle which I hope is the case as a, a DMR is like whatever but you know an explosive rifle ooh that's different anyways those are my thoughts on the leaked M392 bandit rifle situation leak that, that's been circling around if it's a DMR, whatever. If it's explosive rifle, cool. That's what I personally want. So that, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, if you consider, you know, sticking around, you know, consider subscribing. And of course, both uh, my Twitch, my Twitter, the links always down in the description. And until next time, peace.